So this court document that we've dug up shows that one of the accused in the Nijar killing was not only in the vicinity of the crime scene in the weeks and months prior to the killing, but had actually been arrested and was known to police. On March 26th of last year, Amandeep Singh was arrested about four kilometers from here for failing to pull over when police tried to stop him. He was charged with fleeing police and dangerous driving. He ended up signing an undertaking, agreeing to show up at his court date and to not have any firearms. At the time, he was apparently living just a few minutes away from here in this neighborhood in a rented basement suite. Shortly after Nijar's killing, he moved to Ontario, where he got arrested again on an unrelated matter. Many members of the BCC community insist the four accused in the Nijar killing were ultimately acting on behalf of the Indian government, though that's not been proven, and India has denied that. Here's the General Secretary of the Guru Nanak Gurdwara. There is uh, definitely more people uh, behind this, uh, all, all, all this, uh, you know, this is what's happening right now. We believe that there is more people involved in this. We believe that, uh, you know, from day one that uh, this, this will be a very large uh, case, right? Uh, because uh, he was, uh, you know, actually the voice uh, in the, in the, in, around the world, not just uh, locally here in Surrey. So Singh had this interaction with police prior to the murder. What does it mean? probably too early to tell if it means anything at all. This was essentially a serious traffic incident and there's nothing to suggest the police response was anything but routine. Now, does this fit the profile of an international assassin working for a foreign government? Probably not. But again, one of the theories so far, still unproven and as told by signs like this behind me here, is that India was trying to hire local people who were already here but capable of carrying out a crime like this with no direct link back to New Delhi. That's the latest from Surrey. Now back to you.